Welcome to the Sidra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, we'll give you a tour of the Network Timing Input dialog in Sidra Intersection. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. Now let's begin. We will use an existing project with a network containing signalized sites. Under the Network tab, select the network and click the Layout command or double-click the network name to view the layout picture. Click Network Timing under Network Input to open the dialog. If there are no signalized sites in the selected network, a message box will appear when Network Timing is clicked. The Network Timing dialog consists of the Coordination, Signal Offsets, and Timing Options tabs. In the Coordination tab, the Signal Coordination table lists all the signalized sites and common control groups CCGs, included in the selected network. The CCGs appear in the table first. The order of sites is determined by the order in the Sites section of the project pane. These are not related to the order they are connected in the network. The site or CCG ID, name, type, and the connected site or CCG columns are included in this table for user information only. They cannot be changed by the user. The Connected Site or CCG parameter indicates if the site is connected to the network or not. The table with blue text summarizes the network timing specifications given in different tabs of this dialog. The Coordinated Site or CCG, Reference Site or CCG, and User Offset parameters are provided for user input related to signal coordination. The Yes and No options for the Coordinated Site or CCG parameter determine the timing specifications that apply to the sites and CCGs in the network. The specifications that apply will be indicated in the table with blue text. If Yes is specified for a site or CCG, the Network Cycle Time option, selected under the Timing Options tab, will apply in determining the signal timings. This also applies to a site or CCG, which is the only signalized site or CCG in the network, or is a non-connected site or CCG. If Yes is specified for connected sites and CCGs, second-by-second -second arrival flow patterns will be determined as a function of signal offsets for movements on internal approaches. For each site in the network, the signal coordination parameter should be specified as Program in the Signals tab of the Vehicle Movement Data dialog for the platoon patterns to be determined as a function of signal offsets. If No is specified for the Coordinated Site or CCG parameter, individual site or CCG timing specifications will apply. One of the Coordinated Sites or CCGs in the network is selected as the Reference Site or CCG as a key parameter in defining the signal offsets. Signal offsets of other coordinated sites or CCGs in the network are relative to the reference site or CCG. The user offset value for the reference site or CCG is set to zero by definition, and the data field is blocked. Signal Offsets tab of the Network Timing dialog includes the Signal Offsets, Routes for Offset Calculation, and Settings sections. If the Program option is selected for Signal Offsets, the program will calculate offsets for sites and CCGs on specified routes. The routes are specified by ticking the checkboxes in the Routes for Offset Calculation table. Different signal offset methods and different movement classes can be specified for different routes. 
User offsets given in the Coordination tab will be used for sites and CCGs that are not on routes specified for offset calculations by the program. If the user option is selected under Signal Offsets, all offsets will be based on user offsets, irrespective of which routes have been checked for offset calculations. In this case, the Signal Offset Method column in the Routes for Offset Calculations table will be blocked. When there are no routes defined in the network, the User option will be automatically selected and User Offsets given in the Coordination tab will be used. The Signal Offset Definition parameter in the Settings section of the Signal Offsets tab allows specifying offsets with reference to green start times or phase change times. The Timing Options tab includes the Network Cycle Time Option group. The Network Cycle Time applies to all coordinated sites or CCGs in the network with the coordinated site or CCG parameter specified as Yes in the Coordination tab. When No is specified for the Coordinated Site or CCG parameter in the Coordination tab, the network cycle time will be ignored. If a network consists of only sites or CCGs which have the Coordinated Site or CCG parameters specified as No, including the case of a single Coordinated Site or CCG, the Timing Options tab will be empty. This concludes our tutorial on the Network Timing Input Dialog in SIDRA Intersection. Thank you for watching.